Now, let's talk about this fade route. Okay, because this fade route can turn into a few different things. This is a critical component of the play. Okay, as far as the fade route goes, let's just talk about fade mechanics in and of itself. Okay, it's it's a you know it's a widely run play, but oft not run correctly. Okay, first things first, we all know these two receivers are aware they are running the feed route. So the first thing is. This receiver should cut his split down, should never be lined up out here. Okay? Why? We have to give the quarterback room to throw the football. If we're lined up wide and we're trying to run a fade, the quarterback has nowhere to throw the ball. He's got nowhere to throw the ball. All he can do is hope that his receiver either runs past the cornerback or that the receiver out jumps the cornerback. Neither of which are good situations are uh, great probabilities for the offense. Okay, so first things first is we want we to cut that split down to give our quarterback room to throw the football. Second thing, we need to make sure that as we run our fade, we are coming off the ball as if we're running our 40-yard dash. We are vertically trying to step on the toes of that cornerback. We're trying to cut his cushion down to zero as quickly as we possibly can. 